In addition to SAS Popular Pocket Guide, the most commonly sought after data on the automobile industry are now also accessible through a series of interactive infographics on the SEA website. Now having the possibility to interact with these data, every user can discover interesting trends and patterns or find answers to specific questions. You can, for example, compare values over time, across categories or between countries. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will show you some examples of these charts and interactive tools and how to use them. So, where can you find these infographics? First of all, go stati to statistics in the website's menu and then click on interactive infographics, where you will find an overview of all content available. In addition, you will find these infographics in our monthly press releases with registration figures for passenger cars and for commercial vehicles. So, how to use these infographics to their fullest? Let's run through a few examples to find out how these interactive graphs work. Here's a great example of a bar chart, which allows you to visually compare values across different categories. European countries in this case, for example. You can scroll through historical data by moving the slider at the top left of the chart. As you see, the ranking by country is automatically adjusted in descending order. This infographic on passenger car production in the EU shows how a line chart allows you to explore trends over time or across categories. You can display the line chart for a specific country using the drop down menu. By moving the cursor over the line, you can discover the exact value for each point in time. Now, a column chart allows for the visual comparison of values over time or across categories. You can display the column chart for a specific country by picking one from the drop-down menu. By hovering over the columns, the respective value for each becomes visible. On this page, we see a stacked column, which allows us to compare parts of a whole and at the same time show how these parts have changed over time. And again, by hovering the cursor over a column, we can find out what the corresponding value is. Here, we are looking at a pie chart, which can be used to show proportions of a whole. Like before, we can use the drop-down menu to pick a particular country. What we see here is a so-called chloroplat map, in which geographical areas are shaded according to the measurement of the variable displayed on the map. In this case, average CO2 emissions. You can either click on a country or use the search bar to get exact values for a specific country. We've also added some interactive symbol maps to our website. Using the tabs of the top of the window, you can project different data sets on the map. In this case, we can display all European plants producing passenger cars by clicking on PCs. Once the map has loaded, it's possible to zoom in and move around using your mouse. After clicking on one of the markers, a pop-up window provides detailed information about the location concerned. Finally, you will also see that some infographics on a page are linked to each other. For example, when clicking on a country in this map, the graph below automatically shows the right line chart. That's it. Time to start exploring these figures and statistics.